My name is Thomas Keane, or Thomas Keane, as everybody called it, but uh, I live in Corrie Wongan. I've been living here for the last, I don't know, many years now, near 50 years. My farm is a hill farm. It's mostly mountain and uh, low lying bog land. I've got a piece of, a nice piece of arable land down here, but it's very hilly. Very hilly, very hard. To, you, very hard to get any machinery or anything into it, and that, but it suits me. I like it, and I just keep it like that. I farm about 160 sheep on the the mountains and the lowlands. They're all black faced. I used to keep some crossbreds at one time, but as they're getting older, they're a bit too hard for handling. So hopefully, my sons will take over in a couple of years' time. Or it's a beautiful area to live in. It's a Wild, stormy, wet, but it's really a really nice, beautiful spot to live in. They're very close to nature out here, I think. So, I built these stone walls for the reps in '96. That's it. Took, took probably took me about a year to do them, I suppose, bit by bit. I put the stakes and a bit of wire on top of them to stop the sheep, you know, climbing because sheep will, actually, sheep will just jump over them. And there's no problem with any wall like that. They're a great thing on your land because there's always a bit of shelter on one side of the wall for sheep, especially for the sheep, they're, they're very good. And for cattle, if you have cattle around, they're very good. The dry stone walls, uh, the, the seem to think that a lot of little critters, you know, live in the walls sort of thing. Yeah. It, there's something very nice about building the wall. It's very relaxing, you're out there by yourself and sort of thing, and you know, it's, it's, it's a nice job. And it's a good job to do, like so. Yeah, I have a lot of trees on the land. The most, the tree I have is the birch. The birch trees and the birch, you see the birch tree here behind us. Birch there, that tree. We have a lot of oaks. We've got to line them up here. And there's quite a few of them around the land. And we have the hawthorns. Even though we get docked money from the woods, they're like the Swedes, obviously, the Swedes, yeah. Yeah, I have a few all over the land, they're all in there. They've always been here, so. They were probably here a long time before my time. They were probably here a long time before my uncle or my dad. Well, I like trees because you get a lot of wildlife in them. You know, you get a lot of birds. I think they're sort of beneficial. I don't know, they're not doing any harm any. I know that for a fact. This is the Dabras River, and this pool here is called the, uh, the Bog Pool. It's a great river for the pearl mussels. Uh, the water quality in this river is probably as good as what you're going to get in any river in Ireland. This is one of the bog dams we put in for the pearl mussel scheme. It's to slow down the rate of the water into the rivers. The pearl mussels are the native to the river here. They're, they're uh, an endangered species. They're, um, the biggest population of them, I think Ireland has got about 48% of the whole world stock of pearl mussels. They're an endangered species, so I suppose we have to do our bit to try and save them. I'm getting a bit old now for this thing, but it's it's a it's hard to enjoy this sort of thing now. I think it's a great thing, sort of thing. That, and hopefully my sons might, you know, carry it on now for me. Yeah? See, the, the lads do take it over somewhere. Else. They mightn't take over all my ideas, but you know, they might carry on some of it. I might keep them under my thumb for a while yet. <laughs>